Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Raj chapter number 13, verse number 38, Likullin ajlin kitab. And in every age, have we sent a revelation, have we revealed a book. By name, only four are mentioned in the Quran. Torah, Zabur, Injil, and the Quran. Torah is the wahi which was given to Moses, peace be upon him. Zabur is the wahi, the revelation given to David, peace be upon him. Injil is the wahi, the revelation given to Jesus, peace be upon him. And Quran is the last and final revelation given to the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. All the revelation that came before, the last and final revelation, the glorious Quran, they were meant only for a particular group of people and the message was supposed to be followed for a particular time period. But because the Quran was the last and final message, it was not sent only for the Muslims or the Arabs, it was sent for the whole of humanity. It's mentioned in the Quran in several places. In Surah Ibrahim chapter number 14, verse number 1. In Surah Ibrahim chapter number 14, verse 52. In Surah Baqarah chapter number 2, verse 185. In Surah Zumur chapter 39, verse 41. Several places it says that Quran was revealed as a book for the whole of humanity. Because Quran was a book revealed for the whole of humanity, it was not meant only for the Muslims or the Arabs. Because it was the last and final revelation, it was not meant only for the Muslims or the Arabs, it was meant for the whole of humanity. So today, irrespective whether you're living in India, or living in USA, or UK, or Singapore, or Pakistan, or Saudi Arabia, or Canada, you have to follow the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and believe in the last and final message, the glorious Quran. I would like to end my talk by giving the quotation of the glorious Quran from Surah Nahal, chapter number 16, verse number 125, it says, Udu ila sabili rabbika bil hikmah, wal mu'azit al-hasna, wajadrin bil lati hasan. Invite all to the way of thy Lord with wisdom and beautiful preaching, and argue with them, and reason with them in the ways that are best and most gracious. Wa akhir dawan, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.